C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Portal 2. My name is Ares88 and today we are continuing the exploration of the 1958 Aperture Science Laboratories where we are actually finding out they have a lot more uh, tools and a lot more um, inventions, I guess we could call them, uh, that are no longer used in the modern days apparently. Uh, so yeah, we are stuck down here, we have the mission to go up and try and escape again. Now from Whitley instead of GLaDOS, ironically. And uh, yeah, let's just keep going and solve these puzzles. So one thing that I mentioned is that I love the way this actually <laughs> looks, like the vintage look. It does look like something pulled out from 1958. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, let's see. I'm guessing we have to do this and this. Oh, I have to catch it. Oh boy, there we go. Now let's rinse it. Please and thank you. Yes. And then we place this here. And then what? Oh, we probably need to do this. This guy is kind of losing it. I mean, he's disregarding all of the necessary safety measures <laughs> for all of his employees and even the test subjects. So, man, you can you can hear him like losing it a little bit each time he talks, which is nice a nice detail because of course we are like. Uh, starting on newer and newer uh, chambers each time. We started, I think, in 1952, and now we're almost in the 60s. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Jeez. So Carolyn is al already not in the best spot. <laughs> Which, damn. Okay, let's see. Thank you for your participation. A little bit of a lobby. Cave Johnson here. And of course, the exit is closed. And we are four kilometers down. Wow. Four kilometers down the surface. Jesus, okay. Okay, so all the way there. Let me place a here. There we go. 
Now this says 1971, so we are jumping, we, we went almost 10 years just from going up these whole chambers and now we're jumping straight up 10 years to the future. Well, not to the future, to the past, but the future of the past. You know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Okay. Palm Station Beta. I think I would have to go like up here. Wait, where did I come from? Ah, where can I place the portal? Uh, oh, down here. Oh, it's almost in front of my eyes, and uh, I mean, uh, and then and what? Oh. Okay, I get it. Uh, no, I don't get it. Okay, I get it. Oh. And then I'm supposed to place the yellow one. There we go. Yep. Okay. So, we're in the 70s now. And you can tell actually, just from the aesthetics of the place. Nice. So, gel pressure blue and gel pressure orange as well. Post station beta, 2 alpha. Okay, so now we have the yellow gel flowing as the, the the orange gel sorry flowing as well let's see what awaits us Bro. this place is so fucking big 1971 Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test-related? Well, hell. Do not litter, do not loiter, do not touch glass. So basically, they're just telling us that they use homeless people for their experiments, right? We can all agree on that. I think so. Okay, so we need to power this up. Okay. So this is Cape Johnson now, on the 70s. He is growing old, of course. Almost 20 years since the last photo that we found of him. This is the waiting room. A little bit less lux lux luxur luxurious, luxurious. I don't know how to say it. Please take a number. Four one four hundred and twenty-six uh, subjects at least. Sixty dollars. 
the subject waiting area. Remember, alert your supervisor if you see Ocean Inspector, Depth of Energy Inspector, GAO Accountant, Undercover Police Officer, Nuclear Regulatory Commissioner, FEMA Coordinator, Ordinary Police Officer, Journalist, Public Works Inspector, M MSHA Mine Inspector, ETF FBI US Marshal. Okay, so they went rogue. <laughs> Completely rogue. Um, nothing more of interest around here, I think. So I'm guessing we have to go to the control room up there. Oh. Is that the bird that took Gladys? Are we about to find Gladys here? Oh. Oh my god. Um, how do we... Okay. Okay. I think I know how. More desks. So one of the things that I'm wondering is if Chell is someone's daughter that worked here um, in which decade did she took part of the you know the, the science fair because we don't know that yet Right. I think I hear the bird. Pick me up. No, not yet. I still want Listen to. to me. We had a lot of fun testing and antagonizing each other. And yes, sometimes it went too far. But we're off the clock now. It's just us talking, like regular people. And this is no joke. We are in deep trouble. Okay, okay. Even the game is just telling me that I have to pick her up. <laughs> okay. Oh, where are we? How long have I been out? That extra half volt helps, but it isn't going to power miracles. If I think too hard, I'm going to fry this potato before we get a chance to burn up in the atomic fireball that little idiot is going <laughs> She's just burning herself out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's place it here. And then we drop down here. Whoop. Let's go. Okay, so now we travel with Lados. How ironic. Chapter 7. No. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? 
What the hell is going on here? Of course, of course. Now you can trace the points and realize that Caroline is currently a potato. First of all, we need to go down there. And then... We did this. That's so all the orange. We go there. That's enough. And... I think... You can just jump. And there we go. Okay, so we need... We need the... the portal here, and the other one here. Which one I placed here? The blue one? So we do this. And then we just jump and run. Nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, now what? Uh, wait, what? Oh, 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 okay, okay. So I have the yellow one there. Blue one goes here. And then we have to actually run. Ugh in the other direction. No. There we go. We did it. I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. <laughs> but calmly. Those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Yeah. That's Cave Johnson, and guess who's that? Caroline, my love. If you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. Alright, um, let's see. Okay, so orange goes here. This is 1972. No, but this is supposed to be blue, I think. I think. Oh, let's see. Oops. 
I don't get it. Um, oh, I get it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Blue here. And first we place yellow here. So we can have this lighting bit here. Yeah, that's it. And then we actually place blue here. And orange here. We have just a bit of blue up here. And so do this. There we go. That's how it's done. Okay, and now we place this one here. I guess. And now we're on this side, and now we place this one here. And here we go. Yeah. No, I was so close. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I will have to place the portal once I'm already like about to hit the wall. There we go. No, wait, what? No. Oh, okay, okay, I get it now. Here's the one, sorry, this is blue now. And then we put yellow here. And then we go here. And then we do it again, and we place yellow. No! Oh my god, this is so frustrating. <laughs> okay. There we go. Let's try it one more time, one more time. No, why? Why? I did everything right. This is just a question of millimeters, I think. Ah, come on, come on, we can do this. There we go. Astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take them out. This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator, not a bathroom. I swear I know him. Yeah, no telling. You do know her, man. Do you know him? Sorry. Uh, and yeah, I think that's a good cliffhanger. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious right now. It's not. It's not like a huge mystery. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that's it for today's episode, guys. <laughs> if not, this is going to be a longer episode than I wanted to. So yeah, I guess we'll continue on the next one uh, with these chambers. I really hope you are enjoying, and if you are, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next test chamber. See ya.